we are going to talk about the new robots in the low payload area. And our low payload area is between three and up to 10 kilos. And as you see, we have a few robots, as you perhaps know already, but they are slightly blurred because that is not the robots we're going to focus on today. But instead, we are going to talk about A, our new KR4 robot, and B, our new SCARA robot, which is a completely new type of robot for KUKA, at least or in our standard uh, product range, at least. But hang on, as you see, the KR3 and KR4 are quite similar. It's even a bit hard to tell the difference, and they are very close in range, and you've probably already guessed it, that the KR4 will actually replace the KR3. And besides just replacing the KR3, the robot KR4, which has a range of 600, and therefore the name is KR4 R600, and it also has Compared to the KR3, quite an improved speed and acceleration. It has significantly lower maintenance costs, thereby a lower cost of ownership, of course. And perhaps most important, also a lower price. Another nice feature is that it's actually possible to install it in any direction you like. There are no special wall or ceiling variants of this robot. You just install it the way you need it to be installed and tell the software setup how it is installed and it will automatically adapt itself to that installation angle. So that gives an extremely flexible installation of this robot. Of course, there are another few features that is interesting to talk about regarding the KR4 in specifics. And it's compared to its predecessor, it has actually quite lower energy consumption for the same movement pattern and the same uh, payload than the KR3. That means that there are some energy savings to be gained here. Uh, the commissioning of this robot is also quite Easy. It's the same programming software tool for all, as for all the rest of our robots. And thereby, actually, there's no specific new training needs for this robot when you choose to use this one compared to the old one. And it's even so that if you need, for some reason, to replace the KR3 with the KR4, all whole patterns, etc., are like actually identical with its predecessor. Uh, but I mentioned earlier that the maintenance costs are lower as well, and it is actually so that uh, the KR4 is built out of fewer parts than the KR4 3. So that means also that uh, the maintenance need of maintenance parts, spare parts, are lower or fewer, if you like, and we guarantee availability of these spare parts for the next 25 years, actually. Uh, also, the mean time between failures has been dramatically improved. We're talking about 400,000 hours here, which actually guarantees quite a high availability. And for the maintenance part of these robots, well, Lubrication of gears and so on is actually never needed to be done because uh, the lubrication that's there is designed to be there the lifetime of the robots. Uh, there's no more belt drive in the second axis, which was before, and all the cabling inside of it is shielded and maintenance-free, meaning that there's not expected to be 
exchanged in any way during the robot lifetime. And of course, for end user, all this is quite important features. Now, there is a product sheet here in specifying all the technical details. I'll just want to point out one of them. And that is the temperature range of this robot, which is also quite unique in this, that it's not five degrees, but zero degrees, which makes it very suitable in cooled uh, applications as well. But before I move on, as before, for those of you who have seen our webinars, I do have prepared a small video. So let me start that one for you, which explains the feature of um, the care for actually better than I do. So have a look at the video here and enjoy. Well, 
let's quite a nice video describing the KR4. So let's leave the KR4 for the time being and move on to the next new product I mentioned that we have, which is our new Scara robots, or actually robots, because there are two variants of them available. The KR6, which is a six kilo Scara robot with a reach of 500 millimeters and a Z reach of 200 millimeters, and the KR6 700 millimeter robot, which is also available with a Z movement of 200 millimeters. Uh, and of course, there are some cost efficient solutions for this as well, that needs to be pointed out. Of course, the Scara robots are designed to be very, very has, fast and therefore deliver a short cycle time. But it's also interesting with the internal energy solutions with contacts way up here, close to the two working tool for you. Um, it's of course a very compact robot with a very small footprint, uh, which makes it fit into very compact working cells. And as before, it has an optimized drive system, which allows it to have as low energy consumption as possible. Uh, and also here, uh, Koke has spent a lot of effort to keep down the maintenance costs of this robot. Uh, the internal gearing is lifetime lubricated. The spindle grease uh, is, has a quite a long for its class. Uh, maintenance interval and the tooth belts are also quite long in its class for their uh, lifetime. And as with all robots, Koke has spent a special effort to build up the robot with standardized modules, and that gives us easy to change parts of the robot, a fewer spare parts and quite easy to repair and quite fast to repair. And of course, this robot is also extremely easy and convenient to set up and monitor and tune. So there's a special tool to adjust the belt tension inside of it. And the mastering soft tool is just a software option in this one, actually. Uh, of course, there are a few product data here as well. That we can see. And before I go into them, I'll have to look at the few questions we've got so far. One from Philip, which asks us how the energy savings are achieved, if it's hardware or software, and the correct answers uh, is actually that. Yes, the soft energy savings are done by both. So it's an optimized hardware in terms of gearing and so on, but it's also an optimized software in terms of drive control. The controller cabinet that uh, drive, handles the drives inside the robot. It's been really optimized. So we are gaining energy savings from uh, both parts here. And Philip also put out another question that there are no belts at all in the KR4, which is correct. Uh, here you see the product data sheet of the KUKA Scara robots. And as you see, they are quite fast, but I'll do the same as I did before. Uh, Instead of just going through the all the features of the robot, I will show you a video again in the same style as everyone on the Scara robot. So enjoy. Thank you. 
That was a little bit of uh, the technical features of our SCARA robots. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have uploaded on the right-hand side uh, the technical brochures of both the KR4 and KR and this KR SCARA robots on your right-hand side that you can download from here online. If you not have the opportunity to this, I have to point out that all the technical information is available at our website my.kuka.com. Uh, there are a few common features of these robots which I will bundle uh, and that is that they are quite fast and accurate. Um, when we, we measure the speed of these small robots there's actually a standard cycle that's usually measured and that is a vertical movement of 25 millimeter or one inch if we like, a horizontal movement of one foot go down one inch and then go back the same way and the cycle time of that cycle and if we look at it for the scarer robots they are actually quite fast uh, 0.36 seconds for the 500 reach uh, robot and a slightly slightly a bit slower for the 700 millimeter reach robot that means that we can do almost three cycles like this per second. And if you use it, imagine, it's probably almost hard to see the movement itself of the robot at that time. 
And at the same time, the repeatability of the robot is actually 0 0.02 millimeters. If we compare that with the KR4 robot, also that robot is actually quite fast, considering it's a six axis robot compared to the four axis of the Scara robots. Because that robot actually completes the same cycle in 0.4 seconds, which allows us to do at least two and a half of these cycles per second, if we like. Of course, in the cycle, there's no gripper movement and so involved. At the end of the day, that would have to be taken in consideration as well. But the repeatability of the KR4 is actually the same as for the SCARA robots. So it's 0 0.02 millimeters. So both robots are actually extremely fast and very, very accurate in its positioning. Both of them also have internal cabling and the inter for signals to the tooling and so on. That means that um, there is actually both air connectivity and IO and bus connectivity up to the last arm or arm four and three for the SCARA robots. So on the SCARA robots, there's a connection uh, plate on the top of the head and on the KR4, it's under the side cover of the robots. Now, as these two robots are quite commonly used in pick and place applications and vision applications, of course, they can be equipped with uh, the th three most common uh, options to these robots, which is the vision tech, which is our op software options, which allows for a 2D camera control of the pick and place. We have an option which is also supported by these robots, which is the KUKA conveyor tech, which allows the picking and placing from a moving conveyor belt. The robot will follow the robot. And finally, the most suitable option for this, which is our KUKA pick control, which allows one or several robots to actually synchronize picking and placing from moving belts together as a team of robots, which we actually saw in the video before as well. Uh, let me just have a check if you have any more questions or comments to me. No, not yet. Let's move on then. One more common feature is that, of course, when ordering and getting getting these robots supplied. It's not only the robot you get, you get, of course, the smart pad too, where you do the programming and jogging and movement, if you like, if you want to do it online. But new, and perhaps a few of you saw that already in the videos or in the presentation, is that these robots actually come with our completely new robot controller cabinet, the KR5 Micro together with a new system software, which is called uh, the KSS 8.7. These are completely new, and they are that new that we will actually not talk so much about these today, but on our two upcoming webinars. Orange Intelligence.